Hi everyone, <coughs> today we are discussing about compound pendulum. In this experiment, uh, we have two aims. Aim number one, to determine the acceleration due to gravity by means of a compound pendulum. Aim number two, to determine radius of gyration, to determine radius of gyration about an axis uh, through the center of gravity for the compound pendulum. So, with the help of this compound pendulum, we need to find out acceleration due to gravity and radius of gyration. Let us consider this is a fixed end. From fixed end to this length is 5 centimeters, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. This is center of gravity, 50 means center of gravity. Later on 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95. And this, this length is 100 centimeters. The length of this pendulum is 1 meter, that means 100 centimeters. So, the length of this pendulum is 100 centimeters, that is nothing but 1 meter. So, our operators are compound pendulum and these are knife edges. So, these are knife edge and wall bracket, this is wall bracket and glass plates, wall bracket and glass plates. So, here our formula is acceleration due to gravity g is equal to 4 into pi square into L by t square. So, where we got the formula? So, we know time period of a simple pendulum t is equal to 2 pi square root of a L by g. We squaring on both sides, we got, we, we got this formula g is equal to 4 pi square into L by t square. So, we know here 4 we know pi means 22 by 7, L means length. So, L means length. So, length means distance. Here, distance is from 1 edge to here, distance from 1 edge to 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. So, from 1 edge to center of gravity and later on from center of gravity to another edge. Here, length is 1 edge to center of gravity and from center of gravity, from center of gravity to and the edge. Here we are find out length corresponding time period here we are measuring. So, that is let us see how we will measure length corresponding time period. In this way, we will keep compound pendulum on glass plates. So, this is fixed end. Now, we will find out the length from fixed end to center of gravity. From fixed end to this length is 5 centimeters. Corresponding 5 centimeters, here we have to find out time period. Time period means time for one oscillation is called time period. So, initially we will take time for 20 oscillations. Later on, we will find out time period. So, when we keep the knife edge on the glass plate, the knife edge should be in the form of V shape on the glass plate the knife edge should be in the form of V shape. When we will see in this experiment, the knife edge should be laid on the glass plate in the form of V shape. That means, the point of contact is less on the glass plate. Then only the pendulum will oscillate freely. So, take a pen or pencil, try to draw a line nearer to the pendulum. Try, try to draw a line nearer to the pendulum. So, use your forefinger, gently push the pendulum up to the mark and leave it. So, pendulum will start oscillation. Oscillation means which consisting of 2 and 4 motion. So, pendulum will start freely. So, leave 3 or 4 oscillations freely. Later, start the stopwatch at one end. 1, 2, 3, 4, Eighteen, nineteen, and twenty. So, this is thirty-two seconds and nineteen milliseconds. So, corresponding length is five centimeters. Here, we will find out time for twenty oscillations. This is a trial one. So, stop the pendulum. Stop the pendulum and write down the trial one. Thirty-two seconds and nineteen milliseconds. So, again, restart. Gently push the pendulum up to the mark, same mark, then leave it. Our length is 5 centimeters. We will take trial 2. 
leave 3 or 4 oscillations freely, again start the stopwatch 1 and I started the stopwatch here, I started here. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 17, 18, 19 and 20. So, this is trial 2. 32 is seconds and 29 is milliseconds. Initially 32, 19, later on 32, 25. So, corresponding 5 centimeters corresponding time for 20 sessions, trial 1, trial 2, 2 are finished. So, later we will find out capital T time period. So, capital T is equal to uh, later on we find out the mean T is equal to T plus T 1 plus T 2 by 2. Later on we find out time period T is equal to T by 20. So, 5 centimeters corresponding length is finished. Then remove the pendulum and, and change the knife edge to 5 centimeters to 10 centimeters. So, 5 is over later on 10 again we will keep the knife edge and the glass plate in the form of V shape that means point of contact is less. So, again use your four, four finger gently push the pendulum up to the mark leave it leave 3 or 4 oscillations freely. Later on stop the stopwatch at one end, then count 20 oscillations, then write down trial 1 for 10 centimeters. So, stop the stopwatch and reset it, stop the pendulum, again trial 2, gently push the pendulum up to the mark. So, leave 3 or 4 oscillations freely, then start the stopwatch at one end, it will start so, we will count time for 20 oscillations, stop the stopwatch, write down the reading and restart it. 10 centimeters trial 1, trial 2 is finished. In that way, in that way, we will take 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45. So, up to 45, we will take the readings that means trial 1, trial 2. That means, every 5, each 5 centimeters you have to find out both trial 1 and trial 2. Later on you will find out the mean later on we will find out time period. So, up to 45 when we comes to 50 centimeters this is center of gravity there is no reading for the center of gravity. So, 5 to 45 in this direction later on we will reverse the pendulum we, this is 55. So, reverse the pendulum and 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95 that means 5 to 45 downwards later on reverse the pendulum 55 to 95 upwards. So, repeat the process what we have done for 5 centimeters and 10 centimeters. Find out the time for 20 oscillations of each hole and find out the mean later on you have to find out the time period of each hole. So, then we got the values of time period corresponding length. So, we will take the length on x axis, time period on y axis we will plot the graph. Let us check the second tabular column L 1 is equal to O B. So, L 1 is equal to O B, L 2 is equal to O D, the length between O and B is L 1, the length between O and D is equal to L 2. So, here we have we observe what we are observing from the graph O B is equal to O C is equal to L 1, O A is equal to O D is equal to L 2. So, we find out L 1, L 2 from the graph, we will add those two capital L is equal to L 1 plus L 2, we know the time period we will substitute the L and T square value in our formula G is equal to 4 pi square into L by T square then we got the G value. Later you have to find out the radius of gyration K, K is equal to square root of L1 L2 we already know the L1 L2 from the graph we will substitute L1 and L2 in the in that formula then so we will fill up the second third tabular column then we will got acceleration due to gravity and radius of gyration. Thank you very much.